What's going on, peeps? When I was a kid, I was a huge WWE fan. At one point, I wanted to be a professional wrestler and snap The Undertaker's streak. Eventually, I grew up and realized that there's no way I'll be able to handle the lifestyle and training these wrestlers take. But I can still dream of one day being in the Royal Rumble and have childhood memories of those times. I say all this because popular music reactor Young Dabo reminds me of myself being that overly excited kid when my favorite wrestler would come on television. He's a massive stan of the rapper Playboy Cardi, and his over-the-top reactions to music have amassed him 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. He earned all those followers for a reason, the dude's genuinely entertaining and fun to watch, freaking out over simple things like Cardi doing an ad lib. <laughs> Sometimes he randomly breaks down crying mid-reaction and makes suspicious remarks about the rappers. I've been watching this guy since he blew up in mid-2022 and his rise to fame has been hilarious to watch. So today, I wanted to cover the story of how Young Dabo became known as the most emotional reactor on the internet. Let's get started. Dabo was born on August 19th, 2007 in Atlanta, Georgia. He is 16 years old. There isn't a whole lot known about his personal life leading up to this point as the kid is still a teenager. But all I need to know is that before he made reactions, he started off producing Fortnite content as he enjoyed the game a lot. They didn't pick up much traction of course as nobody took a 12 year old gamer seriously. His life was pretty much the same as any other kid his age, waking up, attending school, going home, playing video games, and sleeping. Dabo seemed to be a bit of an introvert in general. He doesn't seem to have the best social skills and prefers to be alone, not out and about. He's very much much scared of the hose. This all stems to when he was younger, when he had an imaginary girlfriend called Vanessa, until he imagined her breaking his heart. That's when he knew his future love life was doomed from the start. The only thing that kept him inspired was hip hop music and live streamers. He was a huge fan of I Show Speed, Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross, Your Rage, I'm Dante, and many others. He saw the rise of these creators and just like every other viewer, he wanted to be just like them. Dabo eventually deleted all Fortnite content from his channel to start the next chapter of his internet career, Reactions. Dabo's first reaction was published on July 14th, 2021, where he watched the infamous DDG and Coil Array XXX cipher. Based on this video alone, you can tell who he was inspired by, using words like word and indeed, similar to Kai Sinat, as well as random bursts of anger similar to speed. He was 14 at the time, go easy on him. From this point, he was putting out 2-3 to three reactions a week based around hip-hop artists and popular live streamers, being consistent and growing a small, small fan base. The key tactic he used was to spread his videos through TikTok. This seemingly worked effectively as he already had people coming over from the Clock app to his YouTube channel. It was a struggle, however, as he would get banned from TikTok and have his YouTube comments automatically disabled several times due to his young age. Dabo continued either way and refused to give up. Soon enough, his reactions to Off the Grid by Kanye achieved thousands of views, which of course had Cardi on it. Looking back on this era, he wasn't as excited for Cardi as he is now, but he was still the Dabo we know and love back then. These niggas are going ballistic, but it get wet. <laughs> it's so beautiful. That's right, he was always getting overly emotional and acting a little suspicious. The fame didn't change the man. These emotions led to the first pivotal reaction of his career on December 4th, 2021. Reacting to One Way by Autumn, he barely had 100 subscribers at the time, but experienced significant traction after the rapper himself, Autumn, decided to repost Dabo's reaction on Instagram. This became his first video to cross 10,000 views and his comment section was filled with replies like, give this man a hug, and bro crying like it's a funeral. This was the boost that Dabo needed as his TikTok continued to grow. A few months later, Yeet dropped his album Too Alive that Dabo knew he had to hear. This was a great decision as it accumulated over 10,000 more views within a month. His hilarious and raw uncut reactions were adored by all as, after this, he became a go-to reactor for this type of music. He collected his first thousand subscribers. Not too long after, he reacted to Young Boy Never Broke Again's I Hate Young Boy. 
I've never seen him so scared for his life. At the start, he was calm, stating how he didn't care for his music as he rushed projects out too often, and he also feels like he tried to copy Cardi's flow. But when he actually listened to the song, he was sitting there frozen in shock. The more the song went on, the more terrified he was. It all escalated when Youngboy dissed streamers for dick riding and told them not to react anymore. This led to Dabo panicking and apologizing. YouTube streamers, they be dick riding, no react no more. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sor
different. By then, he made enough money from his social media ventures to purchase a $10,000 gaming setup. He was now streaming his reactions live for his core audience to see. Dabo shortly achieved Twitch partnership and quickly surpassed 200,000 subscribers on October 30th, 2022 thanks to reactions to Ballads 1 and Smithereens by Joji as well as graduation by Kanye West and Whole Lotta Red. It was at this point that Dabo called Cardi the greatest artist of this generation. His over-the-top thumbnails and titles were getting traction as well. Twitter superstar Korn posted the thumbnail of Dabo reacting to Drake and 21 Savage's album Her Loss with a comment about it being one of the craziest YouTube thumbnails ever. Can't blame him. The post featured Dabo creaming everywhere, amassing over 50,000 likes. Moving into 2023, the next artist he decided to obsess over was Ice Spice, which is proven by his ownership of a T featuring her face and an American flag with her on it. As you've all seen, Dabo has been single his entire life and known for his shocking ability to not get girls. This is probably why. He literally cried when he found out Ice Spice was taken. This poor kid is a munch. You may wonder what school is like for Dabo nowadays. Since his fame, his life at school has changed a lot. To give him credit, he's still attending high school as a junior. Obviously, he's the most popular person there, but it has led to people trolling him in the hallway and vandalizing his locker. He tries to drown it all out by blasting a whole lot of red through his headphones. He has no girlfriend, no friends, and doesn't see his family members due to his dedication to defending Cardi. I will beat this wife! Man, I'll beat this I mean, I wanna, I wanna beat the fuck out this bald nigga. He talking too much damn shit. Hang it on my nigga Cardi. You done mess with the big Biggest party glazer, I will find you, nigga. Dump this nigga in GTA. Ain't in loyals, get this nigga gone. He even has a whole shrine dedicated to Playboy Cardi. Just look at this bio, the man clearly worships him. I mean, if he's finding success with this bit, you can't knock it. Dabo continued to focus on live streaming through Twitch, growing from 10k to 60,000 followers in 2023 through his emotional reactions and various collaborations with another famous streamer, Blackboy Mac. There's this whole little brother connection between them where Max is attempting to give Dabo advice on how to get girls and Dabo ends up fumbling and embarrassing himself. What are you doing, bro? Bro, you can't always be that nice guy. Sometimes you gotta be the bad boy. Bro, your potential is zero. He was also involved in the Five Star House, which was completely chaotic. He even has a plug channel Dabble Plug where he uploads stream highlights. His main channel slowed down in terms of uploads where he seems to be focusing more on quality over quantity. He's grown his brand enough to the point where his fans will watch him react to anything. He had a few huge reactions like Pink Tape by Lil Uzi Vert, and of course, the long-awaited album Utopia by Travis Scott. <laughs> This is how everyone reacted to Fien. Dabo is like the human embodiment of all opium fans, looking similar to Destroy Lonely as well. He even denies that Cardi beat his girl and he doesn't even care that he ditched his son's birth. I'm just a dick writer. You remember when he beat his woman like last year? He didn't do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Even if he did, I don't care. Whatever he does, I don't care. I'll forever be a Cardi dick writer. He would even trade his friend Blackboy Mac for a Playboy Cardi in a life or death situation. He then states that I Am Music is the best album of all time even though it hasn't even been released. As Dabo said, I feel his aura. This bit is pretty funny for now. I just pray he isn't serious. But I gotta give it to the man. His obsession got him noticed. As you've all seen, on December 2023, Playboy Cardi posted Dabo's emotional reaction to Cardi's latest song and music video. What was Dabo's reaction to this? Well, after streaming until 4 a.m., Dabo fell asleep and was woken up at 10.45 a.m. by a friend that he hadn't talked to in three years. His old friend tells him that Cardi had posted his reaction on his Instagram story. The person that he looked up to the most had noticed him. Dabo expressed his gratitude and happiness at receiving a co-sign from his idol. At that moment, he knew he had made it. Ever since he was posted by Cardi, Dabo felt like a completely different person. He addressed all the haters that told Dabo that Cardi didn't know him. Oh my god, they said everybody called me a dick rider my whole life. He don't know you. Well, 
He clearly does now. You know, if Aisha Speed can meet Ronaldo, I believe that young Dabo could meet Playboy Cardi one day. If Aiden Ross can somehow connect Dabo with Cardi, imagine what kind of a moment that would be. You may think that Dabo is a bit over the top and too wild, but you can't deny how entertaining he is at his age. I'm sure he'll look back on his reactions a decade from now and cringe a bit. But for now, it's a 16 year old living out his dream and I'm happy for the kid. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more base content. Let's get Dabo to see how far he's come. If you're seeing this right now, Dabo, I'm proud of you, bro. Keep doing what you do. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure to love all and peace.